got my brain racing when it came to all these people and their charity work. Now think about it. If the government are supposed to be supplying monies and supplies and all these other things, but the NHS aren't getting it, when these people have done all their charity work and they said, you know what? I've got my thousand pounds. I've got my million pounds. I've got my 20 pounds. I'm giving it to the NHS. If the NHS aren't receiving the money from the government, are they likely to receive the money from the ordinary guy that's just walked around his garden a couple of times and got two, two pounds and is going to hand it to the NHS? <laughs> Are they likely to ever receive this money? So all these people doing all these things, DJing, walking, you got that old man who thought, you know what, let me just raise a couple of thousand for the NHS and ended up make, making 10 million. 10 million. 10 million. The man raised 10 million pounds for the NHS. How much of that did he keep, by the way? Because if I said if I said to myself, you know, I'm gonna raise a thousand pounds, five thousand pounds, five hundred thousand pounds, which is a lot of money, I'm gonna raise this for the NHS. If I came out with ten million, I'd be like, boy, I know I did tell you that I was gonna raise a little bit of money for you, but you know what? If I said I was gonna raise a thousand, and I've got ten million, I'm gonna keep a couple million. I don't think anyone can argue with me. If I set out to raise five, um, if I set out to raise a million pounds and ended up raising 10 million, and I said, you know what, I set out to give you a million, but I'm gonna give you nine and keep one. You can't argue that. You can't argue that. But anyway, I digress. Where does this money go? Does anyone know? Listen, if you're listening to On Top Rough FM right now and you've got more knowledge than me, where does this money go? If I've just raised a million pounds for the NHS and I say, right, I want to give this money into the NHS right now. Who gets that money? And how does it get distributed? Where does it actually go? Has anyone thought about this? You've raised all this money. You've got cash. You stick it in your bank account and say, you know, I'm going to do a wire transfer to the NHS. The NHS, you're going to be balling. You're going to have money. All the money that you wanted to have, you're not going to get it all, but here's my contribution. I've raised this money for you. Where does it go? Who takes it? Who's responsible for it? And who is watching that person who takes the money? So, for example, if I say, okay, NHS, I've got some money for you. Who wants it? If man like Greg says, yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Who's watching Greg? <laughs> who knows what Greg's going to do with this money? <laughs> Are there any records? Greg might get a million pounds come through and say, all right, NHS, listen, I've just got this contribution. It's a tenner, but it's better than nothing. A man's walking with nearly a million pounds in his pocket. <laughs> Man like Greg and his new Ferrari. <laughs> Who's watching these people? Does anyone know where this money goes? Because if the government can't get this money to the NHS, and they're responsible for the NHS, then how is a member of the ordinary public going to get money to the NHS? Yeah, and the thing is now, you put all this money in and say this is for a cause. Right. Well, you, you only hear it's for the cause. You never mm -hmm. see it spent on the cause. Right. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'm all for charity. I'm not saying that. But if I'm going to give something to the NHS, mm -hmm. I, and as you said, the government is supposed to be supplying these people with the needed PPE and all that. Absolutely. And I'm going to help out. I, and I say it's for the people on the front line. It's for the nurses and the, the auxiliary staff mm -hmm. and whosoever, right? Yeah. I want to see that nurse or that porter or that janitor go home to his family or her family mm -hmm. at the month end with an extra 50 pound on their pay. Right, right, right. That's my thanks. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Now, also, if you're going to say, okay, we're going to buy PPE, -E, mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I want to see some clients that you went to this particular company, right? And you bought you bought certain amount of um, PPE, mm-hmm. and this is the check that we hand over. Yep. So we get some clarity. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yep. But when you say you give it to the charity, and I don't see where the money is gone or how it was spent. I'm weary like you, brother. I'm weary. Because there don't seem to be no... Like, if you're like some people are supplying food to the NHS or whatever. So you, you see the nurse turn up, take her plate and go. Yeah. You know that food's gone to the right place. You're happy with that. Right. Right. I'm happy with that. So there, there was an instance where there was a, a known artist in mm-hmm. the Caribbean who did a concert, right? And he, he, he had a, a lump sum of money for the hospital. Okay. And people were saying like, where is the money? Yeah. Where is the money? And he said, well, you haven't showed me the equipment you're going to buy. So the money's in the bank. And he mm-hmm. went to the bank and said, send me a copy of the check yeah. to show these people that this money is still sitting in the bank. But mm-hmm. I ain't going to hand it over to John Tom right. or Dick. Right. I want you to say this particular company has five whatever equipment yeah. for X amount and we write a check right. for that. Exactly. Yeah, send me, they, send, me, send me the invoice and I'll pay for it. And, uh, exactly, right. exactly. Yeah. So we know that that portion of the money mm-hmm. just bought that equipment. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm I'm weary like you. Who looks at who look at John when he's spending the money? Where is the clarity? Mm. Where is the invoice? They can show us the public who have come out every Thursday and clap in and all that. Or show us that each and every member who out there working now on the front mm-hmm. line had an extra fifty pound on their yeah. pay take home to their families yeah. that's what i'd like to see yeah. so i'm with you on that who is watching john spending the money where does the money go out of interest if you were walking down let's say i don't know lucian high street for example and um you yeah. have these charity guys and they, they've got their little the little tubs and the little clipboards yeah. and they're collecting for red cross or cancer research yeah. do you give do you ever yeah. give them money you know what i used to you know but i kind of i kind of stop myself hang on i've never ever seen where this is going <laughs> And it bugged me. So yeah. I just stop, bro. I, I'd rather see someone who I know mm-hmm. or I can help mm-hmm. a sister or a bridging and help them out. I said, don't worry, man. I, I'll leave that, leave that for you. That's my charity. Yeah. Because I, I know that. where it's gone. I hear that. So no. when these people are doing this thing on a grand scale and telling me we're raising millions and so, show us some clarity, man. Show us where it's gone so we can feel appreciated and know that, boy, you know what? I had a hand in that. You get me? Absolutely. Um, just, so, just so add, I appreciate your, your point still. Ju- just add a little bit of scepticism to the, to the conversation. Where do you think this money does go? Oh, uh, you know what? To these trust, bro. These trust that, oh, the NHA trust here, the NHA trust there, mm. this here. These trust mm. that they're, they're, they're lo- are locking the money to. Mm. But then again, even when it goes to this trust and that trust, how does the common doctor or the common nurse or the porter all the people in that environment benefit from it. Yep. I mean, yeah, you're going to say, okay, we bought X amount of this and that, and we spread it, and they got BBE, but do you, did you spend all of it? Mm, yeah. Did you spend that five million I gave you? Yep. How much did you actually spend? Three? Absolutely. Where's the next two? Absolutely. Did you, did you enhance their pay a little bit for their hard work at this time? Did you give them a little bonus to say thank you very much for, for, for being on the front line at this time when you could have said, you know what, I'm protecting myself and my family, I'm going to stay home. You are out there helping because that's your job. So did we, did we see all of that? So as I said, they were allotted to this trust, that trust, this organization, that organization, but well, sometimes it doesn't reach a common man. So that's mm. where I think it goes. John, thank you very much for your yeah, call. Man. Respect, man, respect. Thank you, thank you. you look, yeah, man, you take care of yourself, yeah, brother. Be safe. Look after yourself, bye-bye. All right, cheers.